Good morning again. Good morning. Good to see you. Uh, we're praying again for Five Things to Pray in a Global Crisis uh, by Rachel Jones. Uh, we're up to praying for the response health care. Um, and Jen's going to read from, for us from 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 to 11. Thanks, Jen. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ flow over into our lives, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. If we are distressed, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which produces in you patient endurance of the same sufferings we suffer. And our hope for you is firm because we know that just as you share in our sufferings, so also you share in our comfort. We do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about the hardships we suffered in the province of Asia. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, so that we despaired even of life. Indeed, in our hearts we felt the sentence of death, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves but on God, who raises the dead. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us. On him we have set our hope that he will continue to deliver us, as you help us by your prayers. Then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favour granted us in answer to the prayers of many. Thanks, Jen. Uh, Rachel Jones writes, This page has been written with the help of Helen Greenfield, a medical doctor working on a ward of suspected COVID-19 cases in London. Number one, Father of Compassion. Praise be to the Father of Compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, verses 3 and 4. Think back to periods of ill health when God has comforted you. Thank God that he looks at our broken world with compassion and stands ready to comfort all those who turn to him for help. Number two, comfort those in trouble. So that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Verse 4. Pray for medical staff as they seek to comfort the sick and dying and support one another. Ask God to give them an abundance of compassion, patience and grace. Pray that Christians working in the health service will take every opportunity to speak of the unique comfort that the gospel gives. Number 3. Help those under pressure. We were under great pressure, far beyond our ability to endure, but this happened that we might not rely on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead, verses 8 and 9. Pray for staff as they make difficult decisions about how to treat patients with limited resources. Ask God to give them wisdom. Pray that in this time of great pressure, many staff would come to see their own need of a saviour who has conquered death. Number four, deliver many from danger. He has delivered us from such a deadly peril, and he will deliver us again. On him we have set our hope. Verse 10. Praise God that he loves to deliver people from danger, including ill health, in his grace. He often works through the skill of medical professionals. Ask him to use doctors, nurses and others to save many lives, and to bring this pandemic to an end soon. Number 5. And answer our prayers. As you help us by your prayers, then many will give thanks on our behalf for the gracious favour granted to us in answer to the prayers of many. Verse 11. Give thanks for the ways in which God has answered your prayers for the sick in the past. Who can you help by your prayers right now? Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again tomorrow. See you tomorrow.